Hi, everyone. So it seems that Synology is now featuring the release of DSM 7.1 beta on their homepage. So I thought it would probably be a good time to take a first look at the upcoming features and also at the release notes. So if this is something that you think you're interested in, this should be a short video. Stick around. All right, so here we are on Synology's homepage, and you can see right on the main page of their website, they're featuring DSM 7.1 beta. So let's click Learn More to see what it's all about. So it says, expanded possibilities for larger deployments, improved file share options, more intuitive management, major package updates come together in DSM that's easier than ever to monitor and protect. And then it gives you the option to download now. But before we do that, let's just take a look at what it has to offer. So it seems like there's five main areas. NAS protection, efficiently back up and restore all of your configurations, applications, and data right in DSM. Enhanced storage, flexible deployment, monitoring and management, and package refreshes. So let's go down and let's take a look. Protect your entire NAS with full DSM backup. So it looks like, from what I'm seeing here, that you can now back up your entire NAS, a bare metal backup, using active backup for business. So that seems to be a really cool added feature. I don't believe they've added support for Mac OS yet, but just being able to back up your NAS as a bare metal backup is wonderful. So under the storage server enhancement section, it looks like they're focusing on two areas, shared folder aggregation and multi-volume flash caching. So let's look at shared folder aggregation. It says display multiple Synology SMB file servers on your network as a combined portal folder, giving users easy access to shared files throughout your organization without first having to choose between servers. So it seems like they're combining all of the shared folders across multiple NASs and giving the users one access portal to access all of their shares. So that's awesome. Multi-volume flash caching. So SSD caches can now be allocated to multiple storage volumes where currently SSD caches can only be allocated to a single volume. So that's a nice feature, a nice upgrade. Under new advanced deployment options, we have better virtual machine management storage performance. And you can see that here in this diagram. Data snapshots and hybrid share coming soon and read only domain controller support where it says set up a low privilege extension of your Synology directory server or Windows Active Directory server in a temporary, secondary, or less secure location without admin functions and retaining minimal sensitive login data. And then we have better monitoring and management improvements as well. And then also updates to some popular packages. So we already talked about the improvements to active backup for business. They have improvements to Synology Mail Server Plus, and I really haven't done anything with the Mail Server Plus at this point. Synology Drive 3.1, it allows you to index and sync files, not only from the Drive folder in the home folder, but all of the files and folders within the home folder. So that's a pretty cool upgrade. And then it looks like they've made some improvements to Active Insight. And then finally, Surveillance Station 9.0 beta in which it has a completely different look and I'm looking forward to testing and playing with this. So now, that said, those are a look at some of the new upcoming features in DSM 7.1 beta. And at the very bottom of the page here, it's giving us the option to download it now. Now, I'm not suggesting that you download this on a production NAS. This video is just about looking at the new upcoming features on the beta software. Let's go ahead though and click download now. And on this page, you can select your model. Now, what I do want to show you is if I scroll all the way down here, you can see there's a, a disk image for virtual DSM. So you can actually install Synology DSM 7.1 beta on a virtual machine. And that's exactly what I did to give it a test drive. I did not install this on a production NAS and I suggest you do not as well. If you want to take a test drive, go ahead and install it on a virtual machine. So let's go ahead and click Submit because I want to get to the release notes. So taking a look here at the release notes for DSM 7.1 beta. Obviously, the first one is talking about the fact that it's beta and be careful and all that important information about damage, not responsible for loss, any of that stuff. 
Number two says after installing this update, you will not be able to downgrade to a previous DSM version. So please make note of that. Now here's an important one to pay attention to. For the following models, DSM 7.1 will be the last upgradable version and it goes on to list all of the NASs that will be affected. So I'll put a link to this document down in the video description so you could check this out for yourself. A couple of other things to note, Windows 2000 domains are no longer supported. So they've moved the synchronized with NTP server to a new location. It can now be found at regional options time instead. Add support for UPS power off function at control panel, hardware power UPS, which is a nice added feature. Here's an important one to note, number nine. It says Synology storage replication adapter can only be used with DSM 7.0.1 or earlier versions. So what does this mean? If you're currently using snapshot replication and your target is an older NAS, let's say running version six or 6.2, be super careful because if you choose to install the beta 7.1, then in order to use snapshot re replication, you have to upgrade those older targets to DSM 7.0.1. So give that some consideration before moving forward. And then let's see what else. Under what's new, the SSD cache groups can be allocated to multiple volumes. We did speak about that earlier. Storage Manager now supports the management of the drives and storage of both the active and passive server in a high availability cluster. If there's a file error system, DSM will unmount the volume to run file system checks without interrupting the other services on other volumes. Reduce the minimum threshold for low capacity notification from 5% to 3%. There's support now for Open ID Connect. Let's see what else. Again, I won't read through all of this. I'll just put the link to this document down in the video description. So there's a first look at the upcoming new features and at some of the important release nodes for Synology DSM 7.1 beta. Now, while all these features are cool, they seem to be really geared towards the business centric user, not the home user. I'm sure the home user can take advantage of some of the features. For example, a bare metal backup of your Synology NAS using active backup for business. That's one that I know that I'm going to take advantage of. Now, like I said earlier, if you want to give DSM 7.1 a test drive, go ahead and install it in a virtual machine. I do not recommend at this time installing it on a production NAS. That said, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, I'll have links to my Patreon and PayPal down in the video description. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.